Right, I'm going to attempt to make a bike shed using a old bed frame. So these are the bits. I'm going to just put it apart a bit. Taken off this bit from the tops of here. That can be my legs, my post for the back end. I'm going to paint it all up now. I'm shredding cabbage with my potato peels. I've got absolutely no strength in this hand. Can you see? It's proper fucked from screwing up uh, on the shed. It's so painful. So here's the bike shed that I've been working on. Made out of a bed frame. That was, can you figure it out? <laughs> Which is the head frame. Uh, and the roof are painted pink. Ran out of bloody staples, so I couldn't staple gun the oil cloth border on, which I cut ad hoc. And I need to do one on the other side. But this is going to store all my bikes um, from the rain. It's really windy, isn't it? So I thought I'd better take a video of my bike shed before it falls down. <laughs> I swear it's going to fly off. Uh, but there it is. In all its glory, my two electric bikes are in there. One turns around, and I just think it's cost it stays put by tomorrow. I've done it, I've got it, I can hear crashing noises already. Well, I got the flare back and uh, got an oil change done. And he tested the uh, the water pump by doing a pressure test, and he said everything was fine, he couldn't find where the leak was. So I did explain to him the only time it leaked was eight hours after standstill and there would be a pool of water and it's coming from that hose so he's tightened up all the hoses so maybe that's done the trick i've got to check to see if there is any water loss uh what else did he say he said that everything else looks fine so i am well happy oh yes the automatic transmission was uh a bit overfill so he might have drained it, but I'm thinking in my head, did he actually test the levels when the engine was running or when it was off? So that's something I'm going to have to recheck again myself. Um, but otherwise, she's a good one. <laughs>